Hello, I am Dr. Saroj Yadav, Lab Manager for Chemtronics. Today, I'm going to discuss toxicity issue with some classes of solvent cleaners and how can you make the best decision to keep your workers safe and healthy. There is an increased interest in this topic because of EPA's recent statement on N-propyl bromide, which is also called NPB or 1-bromopropane. In an August 2020 report, the EPA stated NPB present an unreasonable risk for 16 conditions of use. These are aerosol cleaner, vapor degreaser, cold cleaners used in industrial and automotive degreasers. The EPA has two years from this statement to establish requirements and restrictions. So why does the EPA has the problem with N-propyl bromide or NPB? NPB is a toxic chemical commonly used in industrial application as aerosol cleaner, in vapor degreaser, ultrasonic cleaning, equipment, and immersion cleaning. It is commonly used as a cleaner because it is non-flammable has high solvency and relatively inexpensive. Along with a few other solvents commonly used in industrial settings like trichloroethylene known as TCE and perchloroethylene known as PERC, NPB has been shown through a number of studies to cause negative health effects when exposure is too high. Those negative health effects can include impairment or loss of cognitive function, temporary or even permanent memory loss, negative reproductive effects, and even cancer. One easy way to spot a potential problem like this in your facility is to review the label or safety data sheet known as SDS. If you see this symbol, you have a product that contains a chemical with high chronic toxicity. That means it can cause health problem over time. If you see this symbol, look closely at the ingredients, warning, and recommendations. How do you know the safe exposure limit of a particular industrial solvent? The personal hazard associated with a solvent is often defined using threshold limit value, known as TLV, which is recommended average exposure in an eight hour day, 40 hour work week, the lower the TLV of a particular substance, the less a worker can be exposed to without harmful effect. TLV is stated on the SDS of chemical products in addition to recommended personal protection equipment known as PPE. The threshold limit value of solvent is generally set by the American Conference of Government Industrial Hygienists, ACGIH, the unit of measure is parts per million ppm. This is an extremely small, precise unit of measure. To put into perspective, if this tennis ball is a part, a million would fill a tennis ball almost three story high. In case of NPB, exposure needs to be controlled down to one tenth of a ppm per the ACGIH recommendation, which is difficult to maintain even the best of the equipment. Is there a way to reduce the exposure? Every organization using hazardous chemical within their facility has a responsibility to equip their facility and personnel to maintain exposure level below the TLV. Personal monitoring bags such as like this can be used to measure the exposure of specified material. Then depending on the threshold limit and the application, exposure can be controlled with PPE like mask, face shields, respirator, and even coveralls. If they don't reduce exposure below the recommended level or limit, you will need to consider a special ventilation hood or even containment booth. As you can see, the exposure limit gets down to a certain level. The equipment required to safely use the solvent can get impractical. At this point, your best option is to consider a safer alternative, for example, Try V high performance cleaning solvent from Chemtronics. To summarize, N propyl bromide has been shown to cause a large number of health problems. Threshold limit value TLB has been set well below what cannot be practically contained. And the EPA has stated unequivocally that NPB should not be used for degreasing of any kind. 
The onus is on organizations using Solvent to select products carefully and equip their users to safely handle the chemicals. The lack of such knowledge and control can lead to employee ill health, downtime, and potential liability, no matter what the legal standing of a particular chemical. Contact Chemtronics for help, identifying the products of concern, and then we can guide you through selecting and qualifying ideal replacements of safer solvents.